this is another number challenge with 2023. Now in this case, we want to find all Pythagorean tuples that contain 2023, right? So either 2023 is in this equation here or the other one. Let's review that a Pythagorean triple are three positive integers a, b, c, so that they can be the side length of a right triangle. So they satisfy this constraint that is the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now we want 2023 to be one of them. Of course, notice that for a particular solution, you can swap a and b, but in this case, we don't care, right? We don't count it as two solutions, rather just one solution, right? We assume, you know, a usually is an even number, right? Now, for the famous triples would be like this, three, four, five. You see it all the time in a lot of exams, and six, eight, ten, and five, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so a lot of times we care about what is called a primitive Pythagorean triple. That is, a, b, c are relative prime. Now, in this case, six, eight, ten, they are not. They have common factor of two. As a matter of fact, that is just double of three, four, and five. So for primitive triples, there is important theorem regarding that. Okay, so this triple here we get rid of six, eight, ten here, and some other famous one would be you know this also commonly used. You may see that in the exam or in trigonometry identities. All right, so. A important result for the primitive Pythagorean triple is that they actually can be given by this formula here, x, y, and z here, by m and n, where the co-prime integers and the not both odd. Right? So if you do that, you can use it to generate all the primitive Pythagorean triples. For example, the famous 3, 4, 5 can be generated with m equal to n equal to 1, right? Let's come back to the original question. So we're going to consider two cases. The first case, the 2023 is the length of the hypotenuse of a tri right triangle. Notice that from early result, if it is a primitive triangle, we would have this equation here. Now, so we're going to say 2023, can that be the longer side, which is m square plus n square? Right? Is that possible? Now, for that, we need to recall another result from number theory. That is, for the Diophantine equation of sum of squares of two integers, right? This equation does not have a solution if n is 3 mod 4. The reason for that is for x and y, they can either be even number or odd number. When you score an even number, it's going to be multiple of 4. When you score an odd number, usually 2k plus 1, you score it, you're going to have 1 mod 4. That is, if you divide by 4, the remainder would be 1. In this case, what we were saying that both x and y, when you square it, the modulus 4 can only be, remainder can only be 0 or 1. If you add it up, it's going to be 0, 1, or 2, depending on different combination, right? So, which means if n is 3 mod 4, then this equation would not have any solution. Okay, now in our case, 2023 is actually 3 mod 4. Alright, so which means this equation would not have any solutions. So that is, we cannot find a primitive Pythagorean triple that has 2023 as 
the lens of hypotenuse. So, how about long primitive ones? For that, 2023, notice that is not a prime number, so it is actually 7 times 7 in square. So, we're looking for a primitive tr uh, triple, and we can avoid 3 mod 4, which is in this case 7, right? Is 3 mod 4. So, that won't be the hypotenuse of a primitive triples. Okay, so the only uh, options are either 17 because this is 1 mod 4 or 17 square with 289. All right, so let's try to solve that. So for the 17 is actually 4 square plus 1 square. So that is for m would be 4 and would be 1. Yeah, and so this case xyz the triple is 8 5 17. Now for the other case, 289, that's 15 and 8. So m is 15, n is 8. You plug in this formula here, you get this primitive triple here. Of course, once we have that, we can just scale it up so that the hypotenuse becomes 2023. So we're going to get two solutions out of there. All right. Notice that, uh, as we said earlier, we don't consider if we swap, you know, two nine five two and seventeen eighty five. We don't consider a new solution. Okay, we only count two solutions here. All right. So that is the case where twenty twenty three appears as C. Now the other case when twenty twenty three appear as B, we look for A and C. Yeah. So this is easy. We can just uh, change this to a difference of square and you can factor it. If you factor two integers, the way to look for the solution here would be try to factor this into two prime factors, uh, not prime factor, two factors. Once you have the sum and the difference of two numbers C and A, you can solve for C and A. I going to skip the steps here, but uh, this is the result that I calculated, right? For the C and A, of course, the B is always 2023, okay? So in summary, in the original question, we try to find Pythagorean triple that contains 2023 as one of the sides, and we consider two cases, and then from some earlier analysis, we have the solutions as follows. You can go back and verify those results. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.